Let's begin with a gentle warm-up dance. We'll do lots of repetitions, but you know it. I'm gonna throw some challenges your way, but just focus on having fun with the dance and the drumming. Don't worry too much about your technique because that's why you're doing this class so that we can get into that afterwards. Yalla Habibi, let's begin in Pose Iowa. Standing on one bent knee, the other toes on the floor, nice and lifted in the chest. And let's do some hip drops with our, let's do our arms down here. And always with the beat, one, two, three. Starting out nice and slow, one, two, three. Now let's speed it up. Let's raise our arms. Why not? Front and back. And let's take it to the other side. Dropping it on the beat or in multiples of the beat. Yep, that's what we're doing in the class. Learning how to do that. Nice and easy. A little bit of a challenge. How about some shoulders? Very, very slow shoulder shimmies. Just looks like a little shoulder thrust. So that's how we begin a shimmy. Now I know it's early on, and I know that the drummer's supposed to be in charge, not the dancer, but could we turn this into a shimmy, Bob? It's kind of early for the... And see if it's too slow. If it's too fast for you, you can go like this. Always with the beat. throwing some snake arms. Get 
to be the boss. And slower again. Thank you. We're saving the shimmies for last, right? Double hip drops. Bob. Slow it down. Slow it. Are you listening? Hit that beat. You got to get that beat. You got to get nice and precise. Because that's how he's playing. Precise. Oh boy. Shut up and listen, Jen Soya. Try to make it look easy. Is 
it the musician or is it the dancer? Don't answer that. Yeah, it is. The music is in charge and that's why we are doing this lesson together so that we, you can learn how to hear the music and dance with the, with the moves that you want to do and with the moves that the drum tells you to do. For the next 40 minutes, we're going to slow it way down and focus on developing our technique and our timing in the six, count them, essential motions of the upper torso. What I'm super excited for you to learn in this lesson is how varying the timing of these motions leads to different belly dance moves, like those shimmies versus slow moves. It's all in the timing and the technique, but the timing is paramount. So after that, we're of course gonna do our stretches and yalla habibi, let's get started with our first exercise. Our first exercise is with Direction X, which you may remember to do the full class. Click on the link in the description or go to school.gensuya.com and enroll for detailed technique instruction, relevant practice, and key stretches, all with lifetime access to this beginner belly dance class. Yeah. 